And so I think this year we all need to be very careful about the decisions that we make about travel. Um, certain types of travel, for example, air travel versus traveling by car have differing risks and depending on where you're coming from and where you're going to and the rates of transmission of virus in those settings um, can affect your risk of getting infected as well. Over the past few months, we've really asked people to give up a lot of uh, things and activities that they enjoy. These are, are really difficult, especially when it comes to times like the holidays that we're used to getting together with friends and families. We have to keep in mind over 200,000 Americans who have been lost during this pandemic and those families that won't be celebrating with them this year. And I think that really kind of helps to put things in perspective as to the risks we as individuals, as families are willing to take to celebrate this holiday season with our loved ones. We would hate to see anyone's holiday celebration end up in the loss or illness of a loved one. And that's really why we're making these recommendations to everyone to try and keep people as safe as possible this holiday season.